Elon Musk has constantly shattered the limits of technology and has set a new bar when it comes to innovation. Tesla's astronomical success is built on the billionaire's successful leveraging of advanced tech and artificial intelligence. However, when it comes to AI, Musk has remained cautious and has warned humans of the destruction AI can bring. Back in 2018, Musk said that AI was far more dangerous than nukes. While he doesn't deny the positive impacts of AI on our daily lives, he has also warned that in order to compete, we must remain a few steps ahead of the developments. This is where Neuralink comes in. The billionaire entrepreneur founded Neuralink in 2016 with the goal of merging people with AI. Neuralink's brain chips will not only cure medical conditions, but will also equip us to stay ahead of the machines. But how does that work? What has been done so far? And how does Neuralink shape our future? Elon Musk has always expressed his concerns over the prospect of deep artificial intelligence, also known as a singularity, which is the creation of an intelligent machine that is autonomous and much more organized than human beings. Elon Musk believes that if we don't merge our brains with the singularity, we will be left in the dust of intelligent machines. That's because the potential for intelligence in computers is much greater than in human beings. Others believe that human beings still have an edge because of their emotional intelligence, but Musk says that AI's destruction does not have anything to do with emotions. It's purely based on the machine's superiority over a human being. Musk isn't the only one worried about AI. Stephen Hawking also made a similarly damning prediction when he told the BBC, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution couldn't compete and would be superseded. Hawking's believed that AI would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. For Elon Musk, now is the time to prepare for an AI-dominated future. He thinks that merging with machines is the inevitable next phase in human evolution. Similar thoughts were also echoed by Yuval Noah Harari in his book Homo Deus. In the future, it is likely that the smartphone will not be separated from you at all. It may be embedded in your body or brain, constantly scanning your biometric data and your emotions. The ultimate goal of Neuralink is to prepare human beings for this next phase of evolution. We've already talked about the working of Neuralink in detail in our previous video. To put it in a nutshell, Neuralink is developing a fully integrated brain-machine interface system, or BCI. The system will enable people to transmit information into a computer using only their thoughts. The company aims to implant a computer chip the size of a large coin directly into the human brain using a surgical robot. The chip, which Neuralink calls the Link, will wirelessly connect the brain to the digital world. Musk's ambition is to make the whole process of connecting a brain to a computer as simple as LASIK surgery. Once it's done, Musk hopes that it becomes a civilization-changing development. The brain chip implants will help human beings stay on equal footing with the machines, and instead of being left behind, we can go along for the ride. Of course, it is worth remembering that Neuralink's primary goal is to assist those with neurological conditions. While the integration with normal human beings will come at a later stage, a closer milestone is to develop a system that allows people with paralysis or brain disorders to restore motor function. One of Elon Musk's claims is that Neuralink's BCI device could cure tinnitus by 2027. Tinnitus is a neurological condition that causes a ringing or buzzing in the ears in the absence of an external source. It is a common problem caused when the nerve that connects the inner ear with the brain is damaged due to loud noises or an injury. So far, a cure for tinnitus hasn't been found, but that's not all. Elon Musk thinks that Neuralink can make paraplegics walk. It can even solve extreme depression or anxiety and can even bring back memories. He also hopes that the technology will evolve to a point that human beings will save memories and revisit them like photo albums. Basically, it's a way to fight dementia. So, there's a lot of good that can come from improving the bandwidth of our communication. With a chip connected to your brain, you could do a lot. 
Elon Musk promises a lot, but is it really possible? Critics accuse Musk of overpromising. They believe that the sort of technology Musk is talking about is decades away. That's because, unlike Tesla and SpaceX, these aren't simply infrastructural problems. Neuralink will have to deal with fundamental scientific barriers. Despite the doubts, people close to Neuralink have given Musk their seal of approval. One of these people is Max Hodak, the former president of Neuralink. He says, if you tell Musk something is not possible, it better be limited by a law of physics or you are going to end up looking stupid. One significant point to consider is that the science behind the project is solid. Neuralink didn't just create something out of thin air. In fact, neural implants have been around since the 1960s. The BCI experiments go back two decades to 2002 and have been carried out periodically on different animal species. As with Tesla, Elon Musk did not create something new. He just turned the world's attention to a technology that has the potential to change lives. According to Max Hodak, Neuralink is building on something that has a long history of academic research. However, Neuralink takes the existing research to newer heights. In April 2021, the company released a proof-of-concept video showing a monkey called Pager successfully playing a game of Pong using his thoughts. A Neuralink BCI device connected the monkey's brain to a computer running the game, and the video of this experiment gained millions of views on YouTube. This newfound buzz around BCI has already started reaping some fruit. A Brooklyn-based startup called Synchron has already gotten FDA approval for human trials in the US, while Elon Musk remains committed to Neuralink's first human trials by the end of 2022. Even if we believe the likes of Max Hodak and accept that Neuralink's promises are within the realm of science, there are more questions to answer and bigger hurdles to overcome. The most repeated question is whether Neuralink is ethical. Elon Musk himself answered that by saying that the whole point of Neuralink is to first solve brain injuries and neurological problems. So it is difficult to argue with the utility of the technology. The next part will be to convince people that cutting a small hole inside the brain and inserting a chip in there is a good thing. This is where Musk will have to dedicate most of his energies. But even if Neuralink does get the volunteers to try out BCI, getting the necessary government approvals won't be straightforward. So far, Synchron has gotten the FDA's approval, but the widespread use of the technology remains a few years away. There are some social imperatives at play as well. Neuralink and the government will have to study the impact of such a technology on the social fabric. Questions like what will happen if the technology is only affordable for a select few? What kind of a social distinction will this create? And what does it mean for core constitutional tents like freedom of expression? There are also many risks to consider like what will happen if the technology goes into the wrong hands and what if the implants end up getting hacked? Neuralink will also create obstacles for Elon Musk in the form of heavy regulations. We know that he's not a huge fan of government regulations, but the medical field is fraught with governmental oversight, and Neuralink will certainly have to walk a tightrope with the authorities. This is why experts have labeled Neuralink as Elon Musk's biggest challenge so far. If he wants to change civilization, he will have to do it in the hardest of ways. There are lots of hopes and expectations attached to Neuralink, especially considering the kind of promises made so far. However, we must understand that the progress is going to be slow and steady. We are talking about changing how people function in society, so there is a need to move with caution. While there are challenges, Neuralink certainly has a lot going for it. The biggest advantage is its founder's deep pockets and the willingness to do the unthinkable. Elon himself has warned people of expecting too much too quickly. Whenever it happens, everyone will see it right in front of their eyes. It's not going to be that suddenly Neuralink will have this incredible neural lace and start taking over people's brains. It will take a long time and you'll see it coming. For now, a more realistic goal remains the creation of a revolutionary medical device. 
Musk said at TED 2022 that for much of the coming decade, Neuralink will try to create a medical wonder tool to cure paralysis and to solve a wide range of brain injuries and a lot of things that cause great stress to people. But the end game for Neuralink remains a symbiosis between the human brain and deep artificial intelligence. An interaction between the two is supposed to be mutually beneficial as both AI and the human brain will weed out each other's flaws. Elon believes that humans can't beat artificial intelligence, and if you can't beat them, join them. In any case, it's going to be a long road, a journey that will give way to a lot of scrutiny and a lot of challenges. However, technology has a way of making its own way, and I'm not sure if the governments have the capacity to stop the transition. Elon Musk already embraces artificial intelligence with its use in Tesla's autopilot, and he wants society to not just accept it, but also become a part of it. Many disagree with Neuralink's mission and think of it as an overly radical alteration of what it means to be a human being. However, Musk sees merging human intelligence and artificial intelligence as a mandatory step to secure humanity's future as a civilization relative to AI.